Bonjour, Bonjour YouTube. YouTube! Welcome back to Talking Thursdays. Today we have a special episode for you, especially French episode for you. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most known things about France, or what France is known for, it's cheese. cheese. Yeah. And today we are going to be telling you how important it is, and how, most importantly, how to cut the cheese. Yes, you've heard it right. You don't just pick up cheese and cut it however you want. You cut it in a specific way for the every single type of cheese. We are going to be specifically talking about French cheese today. We're not going to be covering Italian cheese or any other cheese because um, we, we, we live in France. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are certain things about cheese cutting in general that you need to always remember. Every single time you cut cheese, you need to make sure that every guest gets the heart of the cheese and the edge of the cheese so everybody gets the taste of everything the heart is super important because yeah. that's where it's most savory that's the most tasty the tastiest part of the cheese itself we got seven different types of cheese today so we will be showing you how to cut cheese one by one, one they by all one. have different shapes and they all have different types of course yeah so we're starting with the most popular shape which is the yeah. round shape like that flat one it's camembert and uh, this one is one of our favorite cheeses. Sinan loves this cheese. I love this cheese as well. Yeah. It's um, it's quite soft inside. Outside is thicker, and uh, it's a bit soft, uh, soft on the outside as well. But um, it's covered in mold. So how do we cut this cheese? Then? How do we cut this cheese then? So camembert is super easy to cut. You treat it as a pie. You go from the center, and then you just cut from the center to the edge and then you cut a piece like that and then you've got your piece it's like this so you've cut it like that after you've cut it then you just continue going on and on and on and on now the other the second type of cheese is bouche de chèvre and uh, this one is in a longer shape, kind of like a piece of uh, wood, I think. Yes, wood. wood. Yeah. yeah. And um, it's made out of goat cheese, chef. And um, this one is also moldy on the outside. I think it's because of the name it's called Bush, because when we get a cake from, uh, when we get a cake for the Christmas, mm. it was called Bush de, Bush de Noir, and it was the same shape actually. Yeah, because it's in the shape of like a wooden log. Wood, yeah. Log. And um, so this one is similar, and uh, this one is also very easy to cut. And it's moldy, it's soft on the inside, but a bit, a bit like, you know, the goat cheeses are, they're more, um, they're a little bit more savory, the taste is a bit stronger because it's goat milk. And um, we love this cheese. This one is really good to eat. It's quite, yeah, <laughs> by itself. Now, bouche de chèvre is super easy. It's super, super easy. You basically cut it just like you would cut anything of this shape. You go like this, so you get equal pieces, and you just basically cut it like that. And then you've got this fantastic, amazing, beautiful, beautiful ring type of piece. I personally love eating this one because there is more mold on the sides, so there is more flavor to it. It's fantastic. The next one is one of my favorite cheeses because it's so cute and the color is nice. It adds the color. It's a bit orange and uh, this one is saint Albre. It's a bit sticky, especially like on the second day if you leave it in the fridge and on the second day the mold kind of starts to get a bit more sticky. Yeah. But it's cow cheese. Sometimes you would think like, oh, how do I cut this, you know? But it's super easy. You basically treat it the same way as you would treat a normal round piece of cheese. So you cut it from, you know, from Is it different center. from camembert? How, terms to, of how to cut? It's exactly the same. Okay. Yeah, because the heart is still in the center. And so you, make, you need to make sure that the heart goes to everybody. Okay. Principle here is exactly the same as for camembert. The heart is here. You cut it as a cake. It's really nice. It's really nice. So you just basically go from the center and you cut it like that. Now, of course, if you're hungry or if you want more, you can either cut it like this. So each guest gets one petal. Ah, it's stuck a bit. Gets one petal. Or you can cut the petal in a half. 
and continue. Uh, what I love about this is that you just, it's so easy, you just go like this, you know, you go with like, you cut it like a cake. It's really nice. The next cheese is La Brique, so it's like a brick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, this one is super easy to cut. And it's also a bit creamy on the inside. You see, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but majority of cheeses that we're showing you today, they're actually soft cheeses, they're not hard cheeses. The reason for that is that we basically choose to show you these because you get the more variety of shapes. So when you are in the situation where you need to cut the cheese, you will be able to, to know it, like you will be able to cut it. You know, it's trickier to cut soft cheese than hard cheese. That's why, for instance, we're using this knife. This knife has holes in it here. Why? Because these holes prevent the knife from being stuck to the cheese or prevent the cheese from being stuck to the knife. And um, the tip of the knife has this really nice things uh, where you basically pick up the cheese pieces yeah, it's, with. Yeah, when you're done cutting, yeah. you can just choose it. So you can like yeah, rearrange it. So basically the way you cut it, you just go like that. And it's super easy. And that's your cheese. You can cut it in a half for two people or you can have the full piece if you like. And then you just continue cutting them like that. Equal pieces and that's it. Now here is where the things get a little bit trickier. Um, this is a piece of chabrol. So this uh, is a cheese that has a little bit of a nose to it. So it's like a triangle. The important thing about these cheeses is that you never, ever cut the nose. You never cut the nose. So it's extremely important to cut these pieces in such a way that your guests get to taste the cheese properly. So the nose is considered to be hard of the cheese. Pretty what much, this because okay. this shape would be a round yeah. altogether, oh, so okay. the round is sense. the heart. Yeah. And okay. you want to avoid cutting cheese in such a way that everybody, that everyone gets this nice area and then some unlucky person gets this. But yeah, so the important thing is to cut this correctly, so everybody gets, gets to enjoy this cheese and not just the few of the guests. There are several ways to cut it, but I will show you the one that I cut it in. You cut it in a way that you've got diagonal and you basically cut it like this. So you cut, okay, and then you cut again. So it's more of triangles. And then it goes and as you reach here, as you reach this position over here, you cut it this way. You basically go side, 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 so everybody gets kind of similar size of pieces. So it's a little bit challenging, but don't be afraid. In front of me is Santagur, and this cheese is blue cheese. It's one of the most potent cheeses that I eat. Um, this cheese, you can put it in a salad, you can have it for dessert, you can have it um, on bread. It's quite soft, but at the same time it's creamy. It doesn't hold the shape well. So the way to cut this cheese is super easy. At least I think it's super easy. What you do is that you take triangles from each side. So you go one, and then you take the other side. So you've got these two triangles. Oof. You see it sticks a little bit. And then you go like this. So you go from here, and then you go like that. The idea, the principle is still the same. To give everybody the heart, the edge, the full body of the cheese, and pretty much that's about it. This is a uh, chavru, it's uh, goat cheese. This shape is a pyramid shape. It's quite common with goat cheeses. And don't freak out, don't worry, it's very easy. The way it works is the same principle as the round cheese. So you cut it exactly the same way that you would cut the round cheese. Heart is in the center. And then you cut going just like a, from angle to angle. And your cheese is cut. Like that. So we hope that this video was useful to you next time you have guests over. 
One more thing, you don't spread the cheese unless it's a spread cheese. Uh, don't ever cut soft cheese and then just squish it or s spread it on the bread. Just put it on your baguette and just eat it, you know, and don't spread it because you're ruining the taste of it, you're ruining the actual experience because you need to taste the mold and then you need to taste how soft it is on the inside, you know. Yeah, so um, we hope that you like this type of um, culinary adventure with us on Thursdays. Let us know which one is your favorite. Let us know if you've had any of these types, if you would like to have some of them. I'm gonna try the goat cheese now. And now they have the beautiful flowery Saint Albre. So, bon appétit. That could be your lunch. Bread, baguette, preferably baguette, right? Tradition. And uh, you can have cheese anytime. Uh -huh. As a dessert, as a starter, as a main dish. <laughs> <laughs> you can have it anytime. I don't like this cheese. Mm. Vive la France. <laughs> <laughs>